Welcome to this tutorial. So till now we have created the workspace as well as we have created the workspace with existing resources. Let us move ahead. Now we will understand how to find and load the workspace. I'll copy the code. Importing the libraries. Paste. Details of the subscription. Getting handle to workspace. Execute this cell. Great. Let us get the list of workspaces in a resource group. To get the list of workspaces in a resource group, we will use the for loop. For i in ml underscore client dot workspaces dot list print i dot name i dot the display name i dot the description I dot let us get the location as well and execute. So these are the workspaces in the resource group. Azure ML SDK V2 WS workspace 10 and workspace 20. This is the workspace name. Then the display name. No description for this workspace and location. Workspace name display name the description and the location. So this is how we can get the list of the workspaces in a resource group. Let us understand how to get the details of a specific workspace. Let us define an object WS ML client dot workspaces dot get here we have to specify the name of the workspace let us specify this one workspace 10 here we are getting the details of a specific workspace with name now print ws dot let us get the location ws dot resource group execute so this is the location east us and this is the resource group for this workspace so this is how we can get the details of a specific workspace with name let us move ahead now we will understand to load a specific workspace using parameters. Let us import the libraries first. Importing the libraries. Now define the object ws. Here we are redefining this object every time. Note down this. The ML client class. Default credential. This is the first argument. Then the subscription ID. I'll specify the subscription ID. Go to workspace name. Copy the subscription ID and paste. 
then the resource group name this one azure ml sdk v2rg and at the end workspace name let us specify the workspace name i'll specify this one the current workspace and at the end print the object ws so here we are loading a specific workspace using the parameters first we have imported the libraries then we are defining this object ws object of this class ml client and then we are specifying the default credential subscription id resource group and workspace name and at the end we are printing the object ws let us execute subscription id resource group and the workspace name so this is how you can load a specific workspace using the parameters let us move ahead let us understand how to clean up the resources ml client object dot workspaces dot use the method begin delete here we have to specify the name ws basic dot name delete dependent resources true copy and paste ws underscore with existing resources let us understand this again here we have to delete the workspaces that we have created these two workspaces workspace 10 and workspace 20 this is the object for the workspace 10 ws basic you can see here ws basic workspace 10 and this is the object ws with existing resources for the workspace workspace 20 let us execute the delete request initiated for the workspace 10 and workspace 20 now it will take few minutes to delete these two workspaces i'll fast forward the process so these two workspaces are deleted successfully let us revise what we have learned in this tutorial first we understood to find and load the workspace here we are getting the list of workspaces in a resource group as well as we are getting the details of a specific workspace with the name after that we have understood to load a specific workspace using the parameters and at the end we understood to clean up the resources so this is all about this tutorial i'll see you in the next one till then Happy learning.